Jackie Famosi is a writer, businesswoman, social activist, and philanthropist. Her first novel, Bear, was written in 2017. She wrote about the cradle of the hockey club of the politicians, the exposing the art of secret society that breeds in South Africa, slay queens, and cash for body. Recently, she declared her interest to contest for the post of presidency in South Africa. Who knows, she might be the first female president in South Africa and the second female president in Africa at large. I would like to know what you guys think about her intention as she pleads for support from her fans. Hey everybody, I know my announcement today was uncomfortable for a lot of people and, it's, and it is true that I'm going to be running for presidency. You may laugh today, but I'm not taking it as a joke. I know some people's dreams and aspirations and visions may make you uncomfortable. Certainly the things that I say and do makes you uncomfortable which is okay. There's never been a time where change was comfortable for anyone. In every way, in my small way, my efforts and work are still very equivalent to what the president does. It might be in a small scale, but the roles are the same. I have given my all to South Africans. And I don't regret anything at this moment, especially with the work that I do. It might sound a bit far-fetched and it might make you uncomfortable and you might want to question my actions. But we were meant to change the world, not sit and watch it evolve. So... I am confirming I am going to run for president. However, I'm not going to give you a time frame or, in a, or an election date. We all have a plan and my plan is straightforward. I want you to know today that my plan is to run for presidency. The real question you should be asking me is how you can support me in what way you can give innovative ideas on what needs to change in South Africa. That is what you should be asking me. Where are we gonna go from here? You see how our country is. I have certainly studied our leaders. And I think in every way, at every moment, in every opportunity, with every opportunity that I have, I'm continuing to study them one by one from every political party. That is one thing you should be doing. I have given my all to South Africans and I feel like there's still more to be done. I'm going to ask you a simple question. Do you know your first lady? Do you know your female or the Youth League members, do you know them? Who is representing you? Do you really know who is representing you? Those are the questions you should be asking. Are the people in power really fighting for you? I know I'm doing my bit for South Africans. You might not like how I do things. You might not like what I say. You, you might not like how I do things. But the intention is pure. It's purely for South Africans. And you might not understand the vision right now. It's okay because I'm the only one who knows and sees it clearly. So, 
Do not be alarmed. My every move is calculated at all given times. Yes, people will say, they will do this to you, they will do that to you. How many times have we been told that it's not possible? It's not possible because you don't believe in it. It's not possible because you're not prepared for it. Nor are you preparing for it. It's not possible because you don't see the change. It's not possible because you don't believe in you. Now you want to deflect your insecurities on me. I'm a different breed, a different kind of woman. I want you to watch this process from day one. The same thing they said about the other political leaders who became presidents. They will say about me. I want you to watch my journey carefully. Carefully. Analyze every single thing that I do and say. However, the bigger picture is to create an environment where everybody flourishes. Of course, my priority is women and children of South Africa. You have seen what patriarchy has done to this country. There are a lot of loopholes, yes. And I'm not saying I'm going to be president and change everything overnight. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying we need a solid seat in governance. And that seat must be given to a woman. At this point, I don't know what the females are doing who are sitting in those seats. I don't know where they are. I don't know what the first lady is doing. She has not done anything that I've seen. I mean, we were stricken by a pandemic. I saw nobody speaking for women and children. Only until it was time for protesting or when somebody dies. Is that really enough? So I want you to watch this process very closely. I want you to support it. You may not believe it, but time will prove what's about to happen. Things are going to change. Elections are going to come and go. I wouldn't run now with these coming elections. But I want you to know that every single day, the biggest plan is to change this country somehow. I'm not going to sit and be a bystander. I'm not going to sit and close my eyes and hope change will come. So therefore, I am preparing for that seat. There are women in this country who have solid heads on their shoulders, who will see why it's important. And I do believe there are men as well who will see why it's important. So don't be alarmed. I'm just saying, Mark this day. Change is coming. Mark this day.